It seems like Britain has a serious problem with certain dog breeds. According to this article by The Economist, XL bullies have killed eight people since 2021, and it is a growing problem. Now, I want to have a very sensible conversation about this topic, and I don't want you to choose or to rationalize one view or the other. I want you to be and remain open-minded for the rest of the video. Now, XL Bullies are a very trendy dog that has spurred in Britain in the past few years. Now, XL Bullies have not yet been covered or banned under the Dangerous Dogs Act 1991, where its descendant or its close cousin the Pitbull Terrier has indeed been banned in the UK and I am very sure that this will be the case in your country or wherever you are watching. The Economist labels the XL Bully as a controversial breed known for its strength and propensity to attack. And this statement is somewhat debatable because, as you know, at the pet quarter we deal with dog breeds every single day. And every XL bully I have encountered so far has been extremely well behaved and extremely friendly. So I haven't had that impression of the dog being aggressive or the dog, or the dog being propensed to attacking me. Now, I will say that if you look at one of these dogs and you are not a dog person, or even if you are a dog person, its huge head and the way it has been bred and the way it has been tailored to look a specific way, it's somewhat concerning because you look at one of these dogs and they are actually, they, they look intimidating and they are intimidating so that's one thing i can certainly say for sure about the xl bully now why are xl bullies so trendy at the moment in the uk it's a close descendant of the pitbull terrier and close descendant or somewhat close descendant of the staffy and because they look very much related they look very very similar obviously there are differences in different in the different breeds and there are very very different features ranging from the pitbull terrier to the staffy to the xl bully or the now pocket bullies that are very trendy at the moment so there are somewhat some differences between those four breeds but it seems to me like any time a breed gets banned, something close to that breed gets bred and that becomes the next popular dog breed and the thing people want to own because it looks like the other breed that has been banned. Now the article claims that the different variants of bullies carried out 45% of all dog attacks this year. In one week in July, bullies kill seven other dogs the Daily Mirror is campaigning for a ban. So this is something that's bubbling away and different media companies and different establishments have taken a very clear stance on this particular breed. But I want to explore this topic a bit more extensively in this video. Now, the one thing I want to emphasize for this video is that genetics do matter. Irrespective of your opinion, Dogs have always been tools used by humans. They have been our best friend and they have carried out the different jobs we have needed help with. Now, as you know, different dogs serve different purposes for their owner. And genetics do matter, unfortunately. We cannot just turn the blind eye and pretend that a German Shepherd and a Labrador Retriever share the same job inherently. Collies were bred and are bred to this day to serve a very specific job within, within farms all over the world. And so do cockapoos and so do XL bullies. And it seems to me that XL bullies, especially in the UK, are now used as a sign of perceived virility and as a sign of perceived danger and a ways to project danger to other people. And for other people 
to think that you have a really bad dog and for you to project to the world that you are not one to be messed with. And that's not the right reason why you should have a dog. You should have a dog because you want to have a dog and because you want to provide for that dog, because you want to be your dog's best friend and because your dog wants to be your best friend. You should not want a dog. You should not want to own an XL Bully or any other breed whatsoever because you want to potentially use that dog as a weapon. That's the wrong way to think about it. So anytime we talk about dangerous dogs, whether a breed should be banned or not, it is not so much to do with the dog, even though genetics do matter and we should always always acknowledge that but it's always to do as well with the owner and with the person that buys that dog and cares and provides and is the owner of the dog it is extremely important that we come to teach these people that dogs aren't violent weapons and these dogs are not used as a shield and unfortunately a lot of these dogs are bred and a lot of these dogs are used in the wrong context. If we want to be a bit stereotypical, if we have a 20 or 25 year old male and they get a dog, a first dog, and they get an XL bully, do those people know how to train? Are they going to go the extra mile to train and make sure that dog is well behaved? The sad fact of the matter is that they they don't and it's reflected in the news because every so often with more and more regularity we are getting more articles like these more XL bully attacks more pocket bully attacks and these breed is now in the eyes of the government and they are looking into it and I am sure they will act appropriately. So there's three little points I want to make with this video. The first one is that genetics do really matter. The dogs are bred to do something. Dogs are bred with a purpose. The second point I want to make is that dogs are not and should not be used as weapons or should be used as shield. If you want a dog, get a dog because you want the companionship and because you want to provide for that dog and because you want to enjoy that fraternity and that partnership and dogs will obviously change your life. And number three is that if you get a dog that it's a bit more propense or is a bit more prone to being dangerous, you should take the necessary steps in order to mitigate the chances of that dog doing something that you would regret, like attacking someone, like killing someone, like killing another dog or like attacking another dog. So if you are going to get an XL bully or if you are going to get any dog whatsoever, you should really investigate the breed. You should really match that breed to what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and you should be sensible when it comes to dog ownership. So the question to you is, what should we do about this? Should we ban the XL bully? Should we not ban the XL bully? Are people to blame? Are the dogs to blame? What measures would you put in place in order for this particular breed or any other breed if you are watching from another country in order to mitigate these dog attacks which are obviously harrowing and we don't want to see here in the UK or anywhere in the world. Leave the comments down below and let me know what you think.